we've talked about harness lead, um, ways to mark the track, and articles. Now comes the fun part, the stuff that you get to wear on your body, so you get to get some new stuff for yourself. Um, I always track with gloves. Even when I was tracking the Chihuahua on the shoestring, it's amazing. You, it can burn your hands. So I always track summer, winter, fall, spring when, I, when I'm wearing gloves. The weight of the glove varies, but I always hunt for something that's fairly lightweight so I can feel the line and the tension slipping through my fingers. This is just a pair of garden gloves. Um, when they wear out, because they, they get holes here um, from me pulling on the line and the, on the thumb, when they wear out, I throw them away because they're cheap and I just buy a new pair. Or use them as articles. Or use them as articles. Actually, I have a lot of articles that are like that. Um, you are going to need, it's summer. You're going to have to be able to carry water and give your dog water. Water is allowed, actually, during a test. So when you, if you're tracking out in an actual test and you think your dog's thirsty, you're allowed to stop and give them water. So it's, used, it's good to get them introduced to that right from the very start. So I have a fanny pack that I can carry that has water bottle holders. And I carry a small bowl. Um, there are many dogs that have been trained just to drink out of the bottle. You can do that. Um, some people will carry a, a camelback on their back and carry their water that way, that would be fine. The nice thing about this is I can put it in back and it sort of stays out of my way and the water bottle doesn't annoy me too much. You can also, um, when you pick up your articles, you can stuff them in here, but it's a, it's a little bit small if you're doing a lot of article work. So if you're doing a lot of article work, I would rather have some kind of a vest. This is one I bought for nose work. It works just as well for tracking because it has lots of pockets. You're always hunting for things with pockets, lots of pockets in back too. I can put a water bottle in here. I can put all the articles in there. I can put, you know, I can put a hat for me. I can put sunscreen. I can put my, my um, car keys, whatever. So, so a vest is nice. And what kind of vest is that one? This is a Browning shooting vest. These which which vests. is which is the big thing among the ladies it seems. Yeah. These just a plain old hunting vest works absolutely wonderful. I used these for 25 years for tracking. But when urban tracking came in and I found myself at Parkland doing a lot of training with my dog, I felt kind of funny wearing this. I felt kind of obvious. So I stopped using this if I'm at some place like Parkland or training um, in ca on campus uh, where people might think it's a little odd and that's where I'll, I will use this vest instead or actually what I use most of the time is my son's old racing bag from bicycles and I just carry it this way I can put the articles in there I can put water in there and I can track like this so you need something to be able to put articles in and have water um, so those are four different kinds well three options a bag fanny pack, vest. You also, I think, um, should think about for yourself purchasing some insect gators. If you're, it, when we're at Parkland, those kinds of places, it's not, it's not such a big deal. But it, when you go out to the forest preserves or more um, areas with more natural and heavier cover, ticks are a concern. So these gators fit over your, your shoe and over your pant to prevent ticks from crawling up and getting on you. These are from Outdoor Research. I got them through REI, but you can do a, an online search for them. They are, they are um, treated with permethrin, so they're repellent to chiggers and ticks and fleas and, you know, whatever. And I highly recommend doing, wearing something like that if you're going to be tracking in cover. In winter, you can get longer ones that are very, very nice for snow.